Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on nitrogen and its compounds and our subtopic for today is the properties of nitric acid and this is nitric 5 acid that we are discussing today. So we will look at some of the chemical properties of nitric acid and also some uses and then we are going to finish up on nitric acid. So first of all, nitric acid, it readily gives oxygen, and that's the reason why it's referred to as an oxidizer. We actually say nitric acid is one of the strongest oxidizing agents, especially the acids. There are also other oxidizing agents that are not acidic. So the acid is usually reduced to nitrogen four oxide and water. So when you look at the effect of heat of the concentrated nitric acid, you notice that burn films are usually seen in the test tube that you are heating and then a colorless gas is also given off. So sand soaked in concentrated nitric acid when heated produces nitric solid vapor on heating. The hot gases will catalyze the decomposition of nitric acid to nitrogen four oxide, water vapor and oxygen. So this is the equation for the decomposition of nitric acid. You can see it has formed nitrogen four oxide, water, and oxygen. Then, so the, the nitrogen four oxide that is formed dissolved in the water, forming again both nitric acid and nitrous acid. And you can see it's like a back and forth situation. So we need to be able to ensure that we collect that water that is produced if we do not want to form the acid one more time. So reaction also with sawdust, where sawdust is a carbon of hydrogen and oxygen, it's an hydrocarbon, but now with also oxygen part of it. So some sawdust is heated in an evaporating dish with some drops of concentrated nitric five acid and it's done in a fume chamber. We're going to see a violent reaction as the, some of the sodas catch fire and a lot of brown fumes is given off. So nitric 5 acid oxidizes the compounds in sodas to carbon four oxide, water, and then itself is reduced to nitrogen four oxide in water. So you can see from the compounds we had carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So the carbon reacts, will be oxidized to carbon four oxide. The water, the hydrogen and oxygen will be oxidized to water. And then itself, it's reduced to nitrogen four oxide and water. So you can see the sawdust reacting with the nitric acid to form nitrogen four oxide, carbon four oxide and water. So when warm concentrated nitric five acid oxidizes pure carbon and many other compounds containing carbon, like let's say like a tissue, what happens, you can see there's formation of carbon dioxide also, nitrogen dioxide in water. So the brown fumes that you see from the reactions are because of the nitrogen dioxide. And then also nitric acid reacts with, with sulfur. So when it's mixed with sulfur, what happens, uh, it forms a salt, which forms a filtrate, which is separated and diluted with water. So if a few drops of barium chloride are added to the resultant solution, we're going to see some brown fumes of nitrogen four oxide, and then the sulfur is oxidized to sulfuric acid. So you can see sulfur plus nitric acid, it oxidizes sulfur to sulfuric acid, and then itself is reduced to nitrogen four oxide in water. So the part where it is reduced to nitrogen four oxide in water is equal in all as long as it's acting as an oxidizer in that reaction. So the addition of barium chloride into the solution, a white precipitate is formed. This is due to the formation of barium sulfate, which is a conformation of the sulfate ions. So if you add the reaction, you remember we are forming sulfuric acid as one of the products. So it's going to react with uh, barium chloride to form barium sulfate, which shows that this is a test for sulfate because it's a white precipitate that is formed. And then also it reacts with metal, so nitric acid. And remember, we are talking about the concentrated acid. It reacts with all metals except gold and platinum. 
and it's dependent on the concentration of the acid. But the reaction would always be the same. You form a salt of nitrate, uh, nitrogen four oxide, and water. So copper reduces uh, nitric acid to nitrogen four oxide and water, and itself reacts to form copper nitrate. Metals that are more reactive than copper, like magnesium, may reduce nitric acid to nitrogen 1 oxide or nitrogen. Some metals like iron and aluminium form insoluble layers when reacted with nitric acid, thus stopping any further reaction. Then now we look at the reaction with uh, salt. So when you react iron 2 sulfate, for example, if you dissolve it to dilute sulfuric acid and then a little bit of nitric 5 acid is added to the solution mixture and warm, what you notice is that the green solution will turn brown. So you can see why it's turning brown. There is an oxidation of the iron 2 sulfate to iron 3 sulfate. So iron 2 sulfate reacts with sulfuric acid and nitric acid to form iron 2 sulfate, iron 3 sulfate that is. And then the nitric acid is reduced to nitric, nitrogen, four to, nitrogen 2 oxide and water. And then uh, nitric acid also oxidizes uh, the ion 2 salt to ion 3, like I have said. Then itself is reduced to nitrogen 2 oxide and water. So in the air, nitrogen 2 oxide is really oxidi readily oxidized to nitrogen 4 oxide, which forms um, the brown fumes, as you can see uh, from the equation. So reaction of nitric 5 acid with hydrogen sulfide, we are still looking at the reaction of concentrated nitric acid. So if a few drops of concentrated nitric acid are added to a gas jar of hydrogen sulfide, and then the jar is covered. So we are going to see some brown fumes of nitrogen four oxide and yellow deposits of sulfur. So this is a redox reaction where hydrogen sulfide reacts with nitric acid to form sulfur. So you can see this um, oxidation that has occurred from hydrogen sulfide to sulfur. And then the nitric acid has been reduced to nitrogen two oxide and water. So this is an oxidation reduction reaction. And, uh, now we look at some reactions of dilute nitric 5 acid. So they react with metals to form nitrogen 2 oxide instead of hydrogen. So we said nit nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent. So the way normally metals would react with acids to form salt and water and a salt and hydrogen in, in case of hyd of metals in this case they do not form that hydrogen because it is oxidized to water so magnesium reacts with nitric acid to form magnesium nitrate and nitrogen two oxide and water so in fact nitric acid is reduced to nitrogen two and water but no when the nitrogen two is produced, it gets oxidized very quickly to form nitrogen 4 oxide. However, very dilute nitric acid, which is cold, reacts with more active metals such as magnesium to produce hydrogen. So nitric acid reacts just like a normal acid, stands blue mass red, and it reacts with metal oxides to form salt and water, which is a neutralization reaction. So, for example, if you take copper oxide and react it with the acid, you form copper nitrate plus water. If you take zinc hydroxide plus nitric acid, you form zinc nitrate and water. And if you take potassium hydroxide and nitric acid, you're going to form potassium nitrate and water. So next is reaction of metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. Since we say it reacts with like a normal acid, apart from the case in metals. So it reacts with metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to form a salt, carbon dioxide and water. So for example, if it reacts with copper carbonate, it forms copper nitrate, carbon dioxide and water. If it reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate, it forms nitric acid and sodium nitrate, carbon dioxide and water. 
So finally, these are some of the uses of nitric acid. It is used to manufacture fertilizers, as you saw for ammonium nitrate. It is also used to manufacture explosives and it is used to make dyes and it is used in making nitrate salt as you saw it is used in etching of metals and it is used in the manufacture of nylon and terralin it's used in refining of metals it is used as an oxidizing agent and the last question describes the action of hydrogen sulfide with concentrated nitric acid. So what is going to happen is, first of all, we said that since concentrated nitric acid is an oxidizing agent, so it's going to react with the hydrogen sulfide. So to form um, nitrogen four oxide plus water plus sulfur. So there is an, an oxidation that occurs because you see we are starting from uh, sul hydrogen sulfide with a different oxidation number. The oxidation number of sulfur increases. So we shall say it undergoes oxidation. And the reason why it does so is because it has been oxidized by nitric acid. So we put a two here, a two here, and a two here. This is liquid, this is solid, this is gas, this is aqueous or liquid, and this one is solid. So if you were to describe the action, you are basically talking about the observations you see in the reaction. So um, there is going to be black, brown fumes of nitrogen oxide produced and also yellow deposits, and the yellow deposits are as a result of formation of sulfur, and the brown fumes are as a result of formation of nitrogen oxide. So that brings us to the end of the session. See you in the next lesson as we look at how nitrates behave when they are heated. See you then.